Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back here. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time out to spend a few minutes with me. One thing I'm really starting to enjoy, I got my little, you notice know, my little cove in here. <laughs> I got some tomato plants there. The aquaponics is kicking a little bit of a booty here. I finally got the, uh, the pH to be doing what it's supposed to do, and things are growing excellent. Um, but that's not what this video is about right now. We'll get to that in another one, maybe. Um, what I want to talk to you about is some hydroponics I've started. Um, you guys have followed my channel. I've done some, I had some out, outside aquaponics last year, but one of the main problems I had with it was, you know, it was my first go at it outside or pretty much anywhere, really. Um, but I had those net pots in the top of most of the buckets, and, you know, the bottom was just an empty cavity with no nothing but air and you know what happens in Florida heat uh, June July that air was hot as fire so I was putting some ice coolers and all kinds of stuff to keep it in but I set up another system this year I'm bound to determine to grow some tomatoes my wife tells me you know you grow tomatoes but I never get tomatoes which is true I've had some here and there success on certain varieties but this year um, I'm putting it out there if you guys seen I had a whole slew of them and I'll show you guys guys in a minute and then some other ones coming to aquaponics so this year I'm determined so let me go ahead and show you the new hydro setup and maybe we'll get a quick update on the aquaponics as well since the last video which hasn't been that long ago but things have really grown a lot since then um, hmm there was one thing oh yeah it's kind of an experiment again what do you know I got some of the same plants in the aquaponics some of the tomato plants that are in the hydroponics. So it is an experiment, sort of. Um, not to say it's going to be a competition, but hey, we'll see what happens. So just hold on one second, and I'll move you guys over and let you check out the hydro. All right. So what we got here is a system I just set up um, this year. If you notice, the drain pipe is in the ground. The black pipe that's running it is in the ground. I just got the little spaghetti lines, or whatever you want to call them. Out. I've got this left open here because I plan on bringing this out further but you know it's been kind of hectic and so far this is what I got going on but what I have in here are Cherokee purple tomatoes and these are a pretty cool tomato plant when you look at them I mean realistically let me get see if I can get in here and get some quick some good action on them excuse me here if you're looking at look how big I mean, it probably doesn't really do it justice, but those are some massive blooms. They're huge. I actually broke off one in the aquaponics by accident. So anyways, what I got here is a eight bucket setup right now. And five are running the Cherokee purple tomatoes, three are running cucumbers. Those two on the end are like a bush cucumber. They're not the same as the one in, it's in that pot right there. But uh, anyways, so one of the things I've done is to try to beat the heat is I've just filled it with rocks. So it's going to be... You know, the full bucket is going to be full, not hanging with, with the roots suspended. Um, the second thing is, I've gotten that reflective uh, insulation on it there. I still got to get it on some of the other buckets, um, but I will be doing that shortly. And thirdly, I buried my reservoir in the ground. And you notice I got two blocks on there. Reason being is my water table is kind of low sometimes and we've been getting some decent rain. So I don't want to have that kind of problem anymore. So there it is, guys. I'll keep you updated on this. You know, these plants right here have probably been in these buckets. I just did my first change out, probably two weeks. So they're growing pretty awesome. Now let me show you what they came from. They came from basically these ones right here. These were almost all started at the same time. Some of these aren't uh, Cherokee purple. Some of these are ones where they sprang up from one tomato in an aquaponics bucket. Every single one of these. Except for a few Cherokee purples that I have. Um, if you go over here to this aquaponics right here. This Cherokee purple here. Let me get on the other side. Okay, if you go over here to the aquaponics. That Cherokee purple right there, and that Cherokee purple right there. You see how big they are. They're doing nicely. Those were actually put in about a week and a half before the ones were put in the hydro. So the ones are really stunted on the hydro. But as you can see, 
I mean, they got a big old stalk and they're looking good. They're putting some flowers on. I'm hoping to start getting some tomatoes on here real soon. Another twist of the experiment. I've actually got some growing in containers. So yeah, I got three of them. Not all three of these are Cherokees, but the three tomato bushes growing in the, uh, and two of those bush cucumbers, by the way, are growing in these outside buckets. I'm really going on an all out attempt this year to make something happen with them. So anyways, that's a quick update. I got a lot more stuff going for you guys. I had a really cool video on the new, not really new, but the radio flow filter, the way I set it up and things I'm gonna be doing differently. But the camera I had unfortunately went into the lake, but it had all that footage on it. But I'll be making another one. So uh, anyways, so anyways guys, that's it. Um, that's the update that I have right now. I'll put up another aquaponics video, put that together for you guys here shortly. Um, the inside ponics, I just got it kind of tore down a little bit from the last experiment, moved some stuff around. Um, I will be getting some more into that though, but right now I'm focusing on what's going on outside. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you have any tips, suggestions, questions, whatever, please leave them in the comments and hopefully we're going to see some massive tomatoes. And next time I'll get into the, um, the nutrient solution and stuff I'm using in case you guys got any questions. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. You guys have an awesome day. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.